Okay, I have been putting this bag through the ringer. Is this the last carry-on tote you'll ever need? Well, if you wanna get my thoughts and maybe get one for yourself, keep watching. I previously unboxed this travel bag and I've spent the last couple of months traveling with it, putting it through the ringer so that I can tell you what I really think about it. If you like to travel smarter and not harder, Get yourself a coffee and let's get to it. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a minute, you'll remember that I unboxed this Ella Tote from Minky Blue back in January. And since then, I've been using this bag for the last couple of months on road trips. We've been in airports flying. I took it as a weekender bag with no other bags, just this one. And I really wanted to give it kind of the full Stacy special because if something's going to get messed up, I'm going to be the one to break it. I'll leave a link to that unboxing video down in the description below. Minky Blue is a woman-owned, black-owned company by Sheryl Mosey. Sheryl was a working mom trying to get her work stuff, her personal stuff, and her kids stuff all on a train going back and forth from work. And carrying three bags just wasn't working out. So she created a line of travel bags designed with women in mind. The things that we would normally carry on an everyday basis with moms in mind because you've got all kinds of things to carry around for your kiddos and with the working woman in mind because if you're a working mom you're probably going to have your work stuff in here as well you're probably going to be carrying around a laptop or a work phone plus your cell phone plus your kids stuff you see where i'm going here and the question i'm trying to answer today is is there one bag to rule them all and stay tuned watching the video because here in a little bit, I'm going to tell you how to win one of these Ella totes all for yourself. Okay, so let's start out with pros. First, I can tell you, God, there's hair everywhere. The hair didn't come with the bag, I just shed. Anyway, quality. I can tell you for a fact, this bag is well made. So as far as the cost goes, you may look at it on the website and think, oh, that's it. it's a little bit of an investment for a bag. But from what I can tell from the last couple of months, I do not see any tears, scrapes, rips. I don't see any of that. Um, I don't see that the handle has started to crack in any places. So really you have to think about this the same way you would think about a designer handbag. Now it's not gonna cost you $700, but it is going to be a very well-made bag that's gonna last you for a number of years. And so I'm not going to go into the absolute specifics on this bag because I did that in my unboxing video. But I can tell you as far as the outer quality of it, again, I don't have any tears, no rips, no scrapes, no discoloration. And the hardware itself, there's no fading, there's no wearing on that either. I, pretty well, I'll, I'll be honest, this looks like the same bag that I just unboxed you wouldn't think that i've been using it for a couple of months unless you look down on the inside fabric because who knows what is spilled out in my purse but there's lots of garbage down there another thing i love about this bag is the size and so i kind of worried that carrying this bag even as a carry-on i wondered if it would be too bulky but i'm not finding that to be the case it goes around with me the same way kind of a larger handbag would i'm not finding that I feel like it's it's an imposition or it's bulky or it gets in my way. I also love that I can fit my 16 inch MacBook Pro in here. I think it mentions on the website that it actually accommodates a smaller laptop than that. But as I showed you again in the unboxing video, my laptop has fit in this side pocket fine. While I'm thinking about it, if you're finding this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. Like I said, I actually used this one weekend when we went to Universal Studios for Mardi Gras. I fit absolutely everything in here. Toiletries, an extra pair of shoes, clothing, things I needed for my flight. Everything fit inside this bag. I was able to zip it up. I was able to actually fit it underneath the airline seat in front of me. And I found that the way the bag is designed to kind of have different internal structure options, it gave me more options to decide how I wanted to configure it to fit what I needed to bring on my trip. And one way I did this is I took that lunch box that comes down in the bottom and I put my toiletries in there. I find that down in the bottom is really good if you've got a lot of kind of pliable things like, like those things that can be rolled up, socks, underwear, stuff like that. I just stuffed them throughout the side and really maximized how much stuff I could fit in the bottom portion of this bag. 
So I use the lunchbox to pack my toiletries. Tell me down in the comments below what you would use that lunchbox for if you weren't packing your lunch. What would you put in there and pack? And that kind of leads me into the next pro that I have and it's the design of the bag. Now, like I was showing you in the unboxing video, this bag has different configurations on the inside. It's got an internal shelf that sits right in the middle. So that gives you the option of having maybe like a top compartment and a bottom compartment in the bag to kind of split up your things, or you could unzip the middle compartment, open it up, and then it's kind of like your classic tote bag. Only the better thing about this tote bag that I usually, it's the reason why I don't really like other tote bags, most tote bags are just like open. You can't really button them. There's no zippers, whatever. And I just don't, I don't like that, especially when I'm traveling because anybody could throw something in your bag or stick their hand down in your bag. So even if you wanted to use this as your big classic throw everything in there tote bag, you still have a good zipper and it's a nice zipper by the way. You still have a zipper to zip everything up and keep it safe. Anyways, I digress. But I do love having options based on my needs. Am I going to work? Am I going for using it as a weekender bag all weekend? Um, or am I just throwing junk in it and going shopping for the day? I just find that the compartments that she's made on the inside and the fact that they're not permanent, it's really ingenious and it gives you a lot more functionality than just a backpack or just having a classic tote that's open and there's no compartments and everything's just floating around in there all willy-nilly. I mean, you can do that with this bag, but I like the idea of having that option, but also having compartments to really keep myself organized, which is what I need to be doing most of the time anyway. I absolutely love the laptop pocket. I really honestly thought it was just going to be like a sleeve divider, a, a place to put your laptop, but not necessarily keep it protected. No, 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 no. The inside of the bag actually has a nice padded sleeve. You've got two sides that are keeping it very well protected. So it's kind of like a one and done for your laptop. Um, also, don't forget, I unboxed the Elitote bundle, which came with some extra goodies. One of them is the crossbody bag, which I have used almost every day, whether I'm out on a trip traveling. Most of the time, if I don't want to take my big bag, like if I'm going to Target of town or something, I'll just use this. Um, this again, very well made, just like this bag, same materials. Um, I haven't seen anything coming apart on this. No cracking, no scrapes. Hardware still looks good. Anytime I get these little decorative statements, it never fails. They start to come apart within a month or two. This still looks exactly the same. And, and I'll be honest, I really didn't, <clears throat> excuse me. I thought I was going to take this off because I was like, that thing's going to start to come apart and it's going to look like junk. And it hasn't. It looks really, really nice. So I think it's just kind of a testament to Cheryl's idea process that a woman needs to have a bag that's functional, but also have a bag that's good quality, that's gonna last. It's gonna be with you for years to come. But yeah, I mean, I've been using this practically every day. Um, currently, I have some toothpicks, loose dollar bills, lip stuff, I've got uh, bank cards, I've got keys, I've got random change. It does fit a lot more things than you think it would, and it's got an internal zipper if you need to keep something zipped up in there. I love that they match. That's a really nice touch. I mean, even the inside matches the inside. So it keeps you looking coordinated, and it keeps you looking elegant if I wanna go be a tourist for a day. Couple of other little pros real quick before I get to the cons. I love that she put these expandable side pockets on each side. Um, I did carry the umbrella with me because the last time we went to Florida, it just rained the whole time. So that was handy. And then I kept my water bottle on the other side. Sometimes I'll keep my hard drives in here. And I always love having a trolley strap for your suitcase. That way I don't have to carry everything. I can just glide it on my bag. Um, I do like these added features when you put in like this security pocket back here. It's just the little touches. Um, I think there was a lot of thought that went into this bag and I, I think there was a lot of thought for women, working women, moms that went into this bag. Okay, let's get to the cons. One of the cons that I have is the design. Now I know what you're thinking, but Stacy, you just said that one of your pros was the design. And yes, yes it is, but my number one con for the bag, and maybe it's just because it's still, it's only a couple months old, it leans. And 
I, this is probably just me being picky, but I find, I was going to see if I could show you. It just, when you sit it down on something flat, it leans, you can see it's leaning that way. It kind of leans a little bit and I'm not really sure why it leans. Um, it could be because you've got this zipper compartment here. That's where you put stuff in the bottom if you've got the two compartments. I, I really, I'm not sure why. It could just be that maybe my laptop leans that way because I've got kind of a heavy laptop. I'm not really sure why, but if there was a way that I could stop the leaning because eventually if something's leaning, it's gonna fall over. That's really one of my biggest cons about the bag. It just leans a little bit, um, but that's probably just me being picky. I don't know, what do you think? I find that it does this leaning more if I don't have something down in the bottom compartment um, and I do still have the two compartments going. So for instance, like if I um, pulled up the center divider, I had a top compartment and a bottom compartment, but for whatever reason, maybe I took the toiletries lunchbox out <laughs> and I wasn't using that anymore. Without that stabilization down in the base, I find that the bag leans a little bit more. So really the only thing that I have to do to remedy this, even if I don't need to put stuff in the lunchbox, I just keep the lunchbox down in the bottom, which is really good because then the lunchbox is always with the bag. I won't be as apt to lose it. The only other, other way I keep it from leaning is that I just don't have the middle divider at all. So I either need to have the middle divider with stuff down on the bottom or I just don't have the divider at all and it's just one big toad. I mean, either way. Um, the leaning isn't that bad. Again, I think I'm just being nitpicky, but you tell me what you think. Do you think I'm being nitpicky or is this kind of a, a deal breaker for you? One other con I have about the bag, and again, it's not really a con. I think it's just maybe... Uh, an improvement that could be made for the bag. I do wish that these two internal pockets were a little bit deeper. Now, I understand why they're not deeper. They're not deeper because where the pockets end is where your middle divider is. So it's kind of like, well, which do you want? Do you want the middle divider with shorter pockets or do you not want a middle divider and you just want a big open bag? Personally, I want the middle divider and I'll just take some shorter pockets. It's not a deal breaker for me at all, but I would like to have a, a couple of deeper pockets. Now, if you turn the bag around, you will see that you have a deeper pocket on this side that does have a zipper. So again, she's thought about it. She's given you options. And really with any design that you're gonna have, there has to be some um, meeting in the middle. Real quick, I wanna kind of run through what packing in this bag looks like for me. Now, like I said, this could change based on where I'm going. Do I need it for the day? Do I need it for the whole weekend? Am I going to be needing to take my laptop or not? So here I'm showing you how I've packed it when we went on our Universal Studios weekend trip. I want to show you this version because I really packed it into this bag. I mean, like I said, I had my outfits rolled up and packed in. I had extra changes of night clothes. I had extra changes of underwear, extra socks. I did pack an extra pair of shoes in here. I used the lunch box for my toiletries. Um, I did also put my simple makeup in there. My toothbrush was down there. And then near the top was where I kept things that I needed to get to more often or maybe on the plane. My laptop is in there. My pre-packed airplane bag with my hero clip is in there. I put my computer mouse in there, my phone, hand wipes, table wipes, medications. And like I said, because it's Florida and we knew it was going to rain, I also packed the minky blue umbrella that came with the bag bundle. And then I also put my water bottle on the other side. I really didn't think that I was going to get it all packed in there. I mean, everything in this one bag without taking anything else. But because I knew I was going to do this review video, I really wanted to kind of make this bag work. I wanted it to pack a punch and I wanted to see if it could take the punches that I was giving it. If you didn't know it, in the last couple of weeks, I have recently become an affiliate with Minky Blue, so I'm very happy about that. And to celebrate my becoming an affiliate with Minky Blue, I'm going to be giving away one of these Ella Tote 2.0 bags, just like this one, to you. Oh, by the way, you'll be getting a bag that doesn't have my trash down in it. It's going to be a brand new bag, trash free. 
I want you to know this bag that I'm using for myself and the bag that I'll be giving you in the giveaway, neither one of them were given to me by Minky Blue. I bought those with my own money. And I wanted to have a way to say thank you to you for being part of my online travel family. So to enter the giveaway, you need to be a subscriber to this YouTube channel. Then I want you to go down into the comments on this video and tell me what destination would you travel to with this Ella tote. For an extra entry into the giveaway, head on over to my Instagram account and subscribe there. I'll leave you a link in the description below. Entries for this giveaway are going to start at the upload of this video, March 25th, 2022, and they are going to end at the end of April, April 30th, 2022 at 11.59 p.m. That's the last moment that you can put an entry in to win this bag. And I'm going to randomly pick and announce the winner on my birthday, May 3rd. You just can't wait that long and you've got to get your hands on one of these tote bags sooner. I do have an affiliate code down in the description. It'll get you 12% off your whole purchase. And it really helps me be able to keep this channel running for you. If you know someone who would love to win this bag, please share this video with them. I cannot wait to read your comments below and I hope you have safe and beautiful travels. Bye.